Good morning. This is that one guy broadcasting from sunny St. Joseph. It's been a couple of weeks, and I've had a very busy couple of weeks attempting to wrangle a job out of an internship that I'm working at, so that's why my posting schedule with KSP has gone a little bit squiffy. So, let's go and take a look at Project Duna's hub. I've got the ship, for all intents and purposes, built as a locomotive to haul my stuff out to Duna. Uh, I did have a rogue uh, RCS drone uh, fly off and destroy one of my solar panels, but that is why I doubled up on the solar panels. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, we're not losing charge at any great rate of speed, and beyond that, we have plenty of electric charge. So, uh, currently, I'm in the process of fueling the massive uh, train engine Duna hauler thing. Project Duna, I'm in the pro process of refueling Project Duna. This is a refueling drone. Um, it's not the most efficient thing in the world, but at the same time, it gets the uh, gets the job done. So we're going to set that as our target. And being that this project orbits at a much lower altitude than uh, my fuel station or any of my other... Uh, space stations before it. It only really needs to be right about here as it is moving much faster. So I'm going to launch in three, two, one. Alright, now I'm going to just do what I normally do, uh, put some music on, and when we get closer to docking I may or may not come back on. Alright. Okay, and we have a successful hard dock. Let me just go ahead and find the tank I was working on. Oop. <laughs> Alright, and... There we are. Now this is a mission that I've calculated probably need to be repeated about ten times uh, over the course of the orbiting uh, phase. I'm trying to fuel it up before I start loading the, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, before I start loading the parts on, uh, to go out to Duna, because I would like this station to have more mass, uh, before it, well, starts getting bigger and bigger, heavier and heavier things, uh, thrown on it. So, let's go ahead and undock this switch 
Now, the one thing I've found to be very useful is do not turn on your RCS, I'm sorry, your, uh, your SAS uh, while you are undocking, as it has the potential to come back and bite you in the butt, uh, as I found out with my uh, rogue drone. It flipped end over end, and I couldn't stop it, and I was trying to get a hold of it, and... Uh, it crashed into a solar panel and destroyed a solar panel, so there was that. And now we burn off this little bit of fuel to make sure that we don't have any orbiting space debris. And this is what we're left with, uh, the Project Duna um, train engine. Now there's only one thing that I forgot to do, and that was I installed my computer upside down, so when I fly this thing I'm going to have to control it from here. But let's go to the Space Center a quick minute. In the last couple of seconds of this video I'd like to look at the Project Duna hub and take a look at what it is. Its current classification is a space station. Its current part count 187. That's not going to change until I start loading on uh, the parts that need to be taken out to Duna. Its total mass is increasing, currently is at 101.7 tons, and that is going to be increasing throughout the duration of the refueling process. All of the RCS has been refueled, and uh, I just need to get on it and put uh, more rocket fuel into the Project Duna. Now, I haven't tested this before. You're looking at the very alpha test of this whole system, so I'm really hoping that it works, because uh, when I do shoot it off to Duna on camera, I don't want to look like an idiot. Alright, this has been that one guy. Thanks for watching.